I remember being in the locker room after that game, and I was sitting with Thomas Jones. This guy is one of my favorite players on the football team. Thomas Jones is a man now. Yeah, you know, Thomas was, I don't know if people know how big of a part of our locker room he was, how big of a leader he was in the huddle, how he demanded, uh, he demanded professionalism from everybody. Best backs in the league right here. Yeah, be unit on three. One, two, three, be unit. And he wanted to play hard. He wanted to win. And he always injected energy into everybody. His, his personality and who he was was a real big part of our team and our offense. My name is Thomas Jones. I'm from a small town called Big Stone Gap in Virginia. And I'm the son of two coal miners. I was very highly recruited coming out of high school. Probably had over 90 scholarship offers, but I decided to stay home and attend the University of Virginia. Well, my name is Thomas Jones. I'm number six. I play running back. My first football number was 34, and I wore it because of my late Uncle Ed Clark, Stone Egg Stallion, and because of Walter Payton. He's the perfect complement to what Lovey Smith wants. I mean, play good defense, play special teams, play field position, build the offensive line, and hand it off to a tough back. You know what that reminds you? Reminds you of what the Bears did when Walter Payton was there. I remember sitting in grade school with a Walter Payton's kangaroo shoes on, and I would draw the Chicago Bears C in the helmet. As rough as my NFL career started playing in Arizona, there's no way you could have told me that, um, that I would end up being a Pro Football Hall of Fame nominee. His biggest thing is being part of a winning team. His years spent in Arizona, Tampa Bay, and last year here in Chicago, he's never been a part of a winning team in the NFL and gone to the playoffs. And that's something he did at many levels as a kid growing up, Pop Warner, high school, college. Jones right up the middle of this defense into the end zone for another touchdown. But in 2004, when I signed with the Chicago Bears, yeah. That's when everything changed. You get the sense that Thomas Jones is ready to break this game wide open with a long run as he did one week ago. He's a guy that he's going to keep plugged. I mean, he's not a real big guy, but very strong and capable of, of breaking tackles and very quick and explosive. It's Jones. Finds a hole. Handoff on a second and five to Thomas Jones. Breaks a tackle. Here's Jones. Oh, the dance move by Jones to get a first down. Thomas Jones is the absolute key ingredient to Chicago offensively in that ball possession offense. Thomas Jones ran right by him, right through his gap. Thomas Jones on that last draw play before the punt becomes the second player in Bears history to gain 1,300 yards in a single season. He's exactly at that point. Walter Payton, sweetness, accomplished it nine times. He has really been the workhorse of this team. And you, know, you talk about Tiki Barber and what he means to the New York Giants. You know, Thomas Jones is right up there with the percentage of the offense that he's responsible for when you compare him to Tiki. Thomas Jones, he really has been their best offensive player all season long. The whole game, they're going to be coming now. They're going to be coming. That's good, man. You know what I'm saying? Big play, We're going to burn them. We're going to burn them.
congratulations to you, Thomas. Just Bears fans waited a long time for this. Yeah, I mean, it's an exciting feeling. The Seahawks came out here and played a great game, played us tough. But we worked really hard to get in this position. We fought the whole game, played well as a team. And uh, it just feels great right now, you know, to, to, to get this win at home for our home fans. We were in the same position last year, and, and we didn't take advantage of it. A lot of guys were hungry, especially me. I really wanted this game, and, uh, and, and the offensive line did a really good job of blocking those two touchdowns early in the game. So, you know, I was definitely thankful for that. Under six to play in the half, and here is Thomas Jones. Jones with his best run of the day, picks up 14. First down from the 45, Thomas Jones to the NFC champion. Jones bounces it. Thomas Jones. Marked out at the 20-yard line, a run of 33 yards. It's where their tight end, Desmond Clark, is blocking brilliantly. Thomas Jones right up the gut, picks up eight. Second down and two. Jones again. Third down and one. First down, Chicago. Jones again, who has carried it on this drive six times for 59 yards. That has been all Thomas Jones so far on this drive. First and goal, why not? Back to Jones. He had two last week, and now on first and goal, he is down to the two. Second and goal. Again. Touchdown. Thomas Jones reverses field, gets a block, walks in for the touchdown. I was traded pretty quickly after Super Bowl 41 to the Jets, and I never really got a chance to, to actually say goodbye to my teammates or the fans or the city of Chicago. But um, I'm forever grateful for the experience. And the only regret that I have in my whole career is that we didn't win that Super Bowl in Miami. And that I didn't stay for a couple more years to possibly win one. But, I mean, listen, I had a chance to play for the Chicago Bears. Play running back like my idol, Walter Payton. And i uh, grateful that I had that chance. I remember telling Thomas Jones once, a few times I talked to him walking down the hall after one of his games, I said, you know, Walter Payton would be proud of you. I, I find there's a lot of in common with those two guys that Walter would have been proud of Thomas Jones and his efforts. So uh, what's, what's the same? Uh, once a bear, always a bear, right? Bear down.